If you're a content producer of any kind, you might want to gather closer. The Film and Publication Board is mulling over new regulations that could wind up costing you money. Grant investigates. YouTube is very much alive and well in South Africa with some incredible content creators developing popular channels. But there are concerns about a regulation that could threaten all of that. The regulation states that any person who intends to distribute any film, game or certain publication in the Republic of South Africa shall first comply with Section 18.1 in order to register with the Film and Publications Board as a film, game or publications distributor. This includes a clause that makes an allowance for online content creators to register with the board as a distributor and pay a small fee. Originally and alarmingly, the FPB said that it wanted to essentially monitor all online content in South Africa. So if you produced any sort of content from social media posts to blog posts to video, you'd have to first apply to the FPB for the requisite sort of license. And then you'd either have to self-regulate uh, and make sure that you classified all of your content accordingly, or you'd need to get the FPB to do it for you. And this, of course, is incredibly restrictive and potentially incredibly costly, especially for small-scale producers or private individuals like you and me. What's interesting is, is that the law has already been in place for some time and the policy has really brought it into focus and it's highlighted how the Films and Publications Board is intending to implement its law in regards of online content. And one of the most troublesome underlying issues is that the law has been written so broadly that any online content creator, regardless of whether you're doing it for commercial purposes or not, will now have to get your content rated. So user-generated content doesn't need to be classified before it gets posted, but the Forms of Publications Board, if they receive a complaint, or if they deem it to be unsavory, can pull it. So they would go to one of the service providers, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and say, okay, this is not savory. They pull it down they would rate it, and then they would send you, as the content creator, the bill for the rating, which is a couple of thousand rand. It's met with a huge amount of opposition, especially from users who generate their own content, because it's not only seen as restrictive and costly, but it's seen as a potential means for government to control what's put out there, what sort of information makes it online, and uh, as an opportunity for the government to squash uh, information that it doesn't like or doesn't approve of. And of course, that sort of nanny state behavior is always worrying, whether you're an individual producer or an enormous media house. Theoretically, because of the broad scope of the wording, the law could affect anyone uploading anything that's distributed online, including social media posts. Other international critics like the Electronic Freedom Front have stated that it's possible it's an attempt by the government to control online conversation and demonstrates a lack of understanding of how digital content works. What do I think of the law? Well, to be honest, for lack of a better word, it really sucks. Um, I've been doing YouTube for a year now and I finally decided to make this into a sort of business for myself. And it just makes it a lot harder and there's a lot more responsibilities now that I have to do and things where international YouTubers wouldn't have to do them. The policy is going to affect my channel greatly because I kind of go into, you know, colored culture and cover more controversial topics. So I think that I will have to think a lot more of what I put online, which shouldn't actually really happen if you want to just, you know, be yourself and entertain people by being who you are. Um, to think about all those things will just be a whole lot of admin and that's not really good. If the law is passed, it will affect my channel because I do not have the money to pay for someone to look through and censor my videos and I don't think that I would do that and I don't understand how they would monitor that as well. So it would greatly affect my channel, it would affect everyone's channel and I think it would kill YouTube in South Africa as a whole. It's an extremely ambitious project and I think a lot of people are very skeptical about whether it would actually ever work. First because a lot of people may simply outright ignore the requirements and the stipulations, but also because policing it is going to be such a mammoth task given how much content is produced and uploaded every single day. What do you think of the FPB's new proposed legislation? Let us know on Twitter with at TechReportSA or on Facebook.